Okay, so this is the replacement of the roller pump tubing, but as well as the dumping of the diluted tank. So just in case your roller pump tubing's been on way too long or you're not getting the right concentration mix in your diluted tank, we're gonna have to do that. So first thing we're gonna do is remove the concentrated detergent. So just kind of take the concentrated out just so it's not um, feeding back into that tank. Then we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the roller pump tube and just take it off as long as that's there. Now, this is where you might come across a problem with something spilling because you can close this valve. So you're gonna go ahead and shut that valve off. But the problem is, is this liquid will kind of come up if you don't have a way to pinch it. So you could either do one or two things. You could use a hemostat. If you have pliers, um, that might require two people. But you're gonna have to find a way to essentially take it, pinch it off, and then maybe fold it over so it doesn't leak on you. Uh, preferably if you have like a vessel, a container, something that would help too. But uh, for my purposes, I'm just gonna show you like this. So if you have something like a towel, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just slip this guy off here. Now sometimes they're held on by a zip tie and there's nothing you can do about that. You'll have to sort of break that zip tie. So again, if you have somebody who can hold the tubing like that, then another person could take this off. So what you're gonna do is disconnect the power right here and it only fits in one way. It's gonna slide over there. And you go ahead and slide this out and just slide it. And then you can just go ahead and take this to your sink, open up the valve, dump it out, while somebody, again, somebody's just holding onto this shut. So let's say this now is dumped out. Go ahead and put our container back, slip our tubings back into the top. Make sure you don't miss any of the tubes. None of the tubes went to the back somewhere. And then you're gonna go ahead and plug it back in. Now it only fits in one way. You wanna keep the number facing up and it should fit right into the barrel connector. You wanna make sure it's pushed in all the way. And then you wanna do is go ahead and reconnect this tubing here. Again, if you have a zip tie, that's great. If you don't, um, it's not too big of a deal. Um, this doesn't move at all. So again, you might make a little bit of a mess, but just be careful when you slip it back on. You're gonna go ahead and open up the valve. Put the, the, the concentrated detergent back in. And then you want to put your roller pump tubing back on. Again, you want to make sure that the numbers match up. So three matches up with three. Take both ends like this, slip it over the top, and you'll feel it notch into these little holders here. Now at that point, you're going to go ahead and do um, quite a bit of priming. So when you go back into uh, standby, this is going to start filling up. So again, maybe I didn't make it clear in the beginning, but you want to have this in stop mode. That way it doesn't try to fill up the tank on you while you take it all off. But even by disconnecting this, it won't fill it up. So if, any of, if, if you're in standby and you disconnect that first in that process, then you'll be fine as long as you plug it in last. And once it starts filling back up, you're gonna get some alarms, uh, diluted detergent empty. You might even get concentrated detergent empty. Uh, but like I said, don't worry about that. You should start seeing this fill back up. And once that's filled back up, you're gonna go ahead and do quite a bit of priming. I would say um, go into maintenance and prime your wash lines probably uh, maybe 15, 20 times. We're going to go ahead and try to flush out as much of the, the non-concentrated water out and replace it with now the, the properly concentrated detergent water. And that should do it.